All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire, welcome back to Cyberpunk's 2077. This might be the last, uh, the last of it that we play until DLC comes out. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, it might be the last stream, or it might, it, it's definitely going to be done this week. So we'll see what happens. Just hanging out here with the people. Let's go talk to Mitch. That America's long gone and forgotten. You might as well have started with once upon a time. But that's just it. It doesn't matter where we go. We heard we're gearing up for a minor war. More like a suicide mission. Finish it up here, all right? Lo and behold. Isn't this... In theory, we fitted an afterburner and a multi-RPG launcher up top. Ooh. We also scooped out about 60% of its total mass beautiful isn't she damn you'll take the wheel with pan am riding shotgun afterburner standard nitro or military grade standard couldn't move this baby an inch so hardware's military but how the hell did you cram all that into a panzer oh uh, small beans compared to the tricks we pulled with scorpion during the war when we unleash this beast tomorrow you'll see okay uh how about we take it for a ride now? Firepower up top. Uh, what is it? A rapid fire 70 millimeter multiple rocket launcher coupled with an onboard MMI you can sync to via personal link. Where'd you get all this stuff? Teddy salvaged it from a scrapyard. Really? The launcher itself was fine. The problem was no ammunition. As luck would have it, Dakota procured some. Don't ask me how. Damn. Okay. Since tomorrow's a big day already, how about we take her for a spin now? Wanna get a feel for her over the terrain? Sure thing. Maybe after sundown, though. We still have a few loose screws to tighten. That's putting it mildly. Will you quit being such a sourpuss? We'll have her ready in time. All right, gentlemen. Uh, keep it up. Holy shit. Look, when I said small army the other day, I, I ain't mean that. I just meant the manpower. Holy hell. Hi, Dakota. Hey, Dakota. It's been a long while. What is it you need? Oh, she's the fix fixer from out here. Need a strong rig for a little jaunt on the net. Okay, get in. Gonna be hitting a masked, encrypted BBS. For nobody knew I was there. You a tech up to it? Up to it, she asks. Heading for the wild frontier, Dakota. You have all you need to pierce through to the other side. You needn't fear prying eyes. All right. Not at all curious what I'm going in for. You don't ask me, I don't ask you. That's the path to a lasting relationship, sister. Everything is ready. You can go in. Okay. I spilled tub. Baby. Yeah. I don't think I could do Hero. it. Here to help Dakota? Evidently, I'm here to help you today. You good to go? Can't say how long this is gonna take. Whatever happens, stay cool, all right? Even if you look like you're about to flatline? All right, time to move. Follow the vector, sister. Hello, Alt. You come alone. Changes every time. Feels like I'm deeper. Can't tell if that's a good or a bad thing. Your perception of cyberspace, that is what changes. You adapt to it, the raw flow of data. It follows that your world gradually fades. You witness your mind's defense systems slowly give in. Saying the more I'm here, the more I lose touch with the outside, with reality. You lose nothing. 
Cyberspace is where we awake from what we know as dreams. Right. Johnny is currently indisposed. Currently. He is buried deeper. You treat him like an unwanted passenger. A backseat dreamer of a world not his own. I had no choice. Thought you didn't care a lick about Johnny anymore. I had no choice. It's the only way I could come here. Meet with you. Repression. You are good at this and improving. Let me get this straight. Johnny is your reason for helping me. Prefer to just talk to him. Let me get this straight. You mean to say you only agreed to help me because of Johnny? And since he's not here this one time, you're thinking of backing out. I do not aim to back out. I have my own intentions for Mikoshi. Because for a second you were displeased and I seemed to side note to all this. To observe the two of you interacting. Informative. This all just an experiment to you? Are we just fresh data to analyze, do what you want with? This is not an experiment. It is a debate. That Johnny is absent proves that I have won it. Okay. Damn shame, really. You were out to prove him wrong, here, in person. But all you got is me. Think there's still some old Alt Cunningham left in you after all? Johnny also imagined he had more in common with you than with me. That Soul Killer had not changed him. That he too remains a human factor. And that is why he thought he could shape your will. No. Johnny's made his peace with my decision. Of course. He had no choice. He understands this now. Need your help, Alt. Don't got a lot of time left. You truly believe time to be your greatest concern. You exist or you do not exist. Two states of being separated by death. Matter of perspective. Think what you will, but it seems to me I rose from the dead. Only question is, what now? You believe you cheated death. It is death that has cheated you. You are in between. You will begin to understand. But only in Mikoshi. Oh, why don't you swoop down on your chariot and enlighten me? Surely an all-powerful AI can handle that? Your logic is flawed. You seek simple answers where there simply are none. This is the very illusion upon which your world is based. At this moment, you would accept any answer if it made you feel better. <gasps> Guess that'd be... human of me? Such classifications no longer apply in Mikoshi. Your perception will shatter into billions of strings of unfiltered data. What do you mean? What should I expect there? In Mikoshi? A boundary to cross. In all likelihood, the sole moment of your life when you feel the true weight of your existence. A burden for which you cannot prepare. Johnny? What happens to him? I lack the data required to answer this question. There anything we can know for certain? Yes. That Mikoshi will be no more. Constructs imprisoned there. Gonna set him free. They will be integrated with me. So you're gonna become a super AI? Constructs will be integrated. I mean you're gonna absorb them. Assimilate. You jumped at this chance. You want to destroy Mikoshi, swallow all the psyches in there. Mikoshi is a prison. Through me, they gain the chance to become part of something greater. Not sure Johnny liked the sound of that. And yet he is absent because you feel you must make the decision. It is the same situation in form. Huh. Hardly. Dealt your first gab with these constructs, ask them what they think. There would be no point in this. Wasting time talking. Let's just do this. There. I sent a program to your Netrunner's shard. Once inside Mikoshi, use it. 
It opens a secure connection. Uh, what does the program do? What's on the shard? A vectored virus? A back door. It will open a passage for me. This is how you will get me into negotiating. Only then will I be able to help you. Hope you haven't cooked up any surprises, Alt. Use the key once you have reached Mikoshi. Alright, uh, do I need any specific I access specific point? Specific access point. Can already tell you ice all the way to Tokyo will be backing every single one. Some need but a barely cracked door to enter. Use the shard in Mikoshi. Leave the security to me. Until then. Okay. Well, we've definitely got a solidified plan now. We got her back. Carol, the shard! Relax, child. You barely jacked in when your temperature went skyward to almost 105. The tech started acting as if infected. No. Stranger. Spookier. What happened here? You melted half my tech! That's what happened! Neural activity spiked sharply. Your frontal lobe was seconds away from flowing out your ears, babe. I could just as well have popped a bullet in your head. Are you sure you're all right? PG. Good. Real good. The shard. Wrote some soft I need to one of the shards. Please. We're surrounded by ice. Even if something punched through, my controllers would have... Holy... Get it away from me. Thanks, Dakota. Don't thank me. Find Salt. He came around looking for you. No, on my way. All right, let's go find him. He's in here. That's not him. Are you kidding me? He's not. Oh, that's weird. So, you wanted a word? Pop up here. Well, what's with the gathering? Something off. It's nothing about the raid. Pop on and you'll find out. Okay. We ain't going somewhere. All right, V. It's a simple matter. We. All of us standing here. Oh, yeah. And it's a great debt. Speak for yourself, Saw. But in spite of that, you're still an outsider. A mercenary from Night City. What might as well be another world. Hey, ask Pan Am. She knows. So it's about time we fix that. A downright injustice it is. It needs fixing. You're gonna be an Aldecaldo. Which means this family will go to hell and back for you. Ready, kid? Again. Oh, all brought me to the brink of a heart attack. Do your worst. You're one of us now, B. You're an Alda Caldo, damn it. Great Thanks for everything, us, B. B. And don't worry, we'll get you into that Mikoshi. Isn't that the welcome way? Welcome to the family. A warm welcome for our newest Alda Caldo. Come on, V. Welcome to the club. Say your piece. I to say. It's about time you did it. No, like. I really don't ever expect it does. Thank you. Don't worry. It's but a formality. You've been a de facto member of this family for a while now. You saved my rumpus, and as Bobby tells it, Mitch is too. I won't even mention Pan Am. Go to hell. Saul's right, though. I mean, let's face it, V. My life was in a million pieces. You broke it into a million more. But sometimes it's only then that you can piece it together again. All right, fam, listen up. Today we celebrate, but tomorrow we're shaping up to be a hell of a day. Do whatever needs doing. Then get some rest. A raid is a raid. This is still your night. We'll so raise a toast to you! Glory. Are you giving me a heads up about this? That ruined all the fun? Are you kidding? Are you all right? Yeah. It's nothing. Don't worry about it. How's the jacket? 
not too tight. V, are you well? Snug as a glove. Feels like I've been wearing it a while. Don't you think you have? You earned this jacket. And the Alda Calder's devotion. Thanks, Pan Am. If you want to talk, I'll be up there. All right, let's go around and talk to the family. Talk to the nomad, just just any nomad? Listen to this. Barbarians do not travel, but simply advance toward their destinations. You got a big dumb face. <laughs> Thanks, kid. <laughs> it's important, important that you're good. Uh, just, it says just talk to nomads. I don't know who the hell that's supposed to be exactly. Just everyone. later. Recommend any chrome in particular? Eh, you know, cyber implantations like buying shoes. Everyone needs something different. A net runner won't have the same needs as a solo. But if you spend a lot of time in the Badlands, it's worth investing in cloaking gear. Hollow skin, active camo, what have you. Compared to the city, surrounding area might look deserted. But less folk doesn't mean you'll be safer. Here's what I recommend. Move quietly. Don't draw too much attention, else things can get real ugly real quick. Okay. That's why we're out Um... Do you count as somebody I'm supposed to talk to? Everything prepped ahead of tomorrow. No worries. Everything's under control. Good. Good night, so. Wait. Hmm? I feel I need to make one thing clear. You've done a lot for this clan. And for me. More than anyone ever has. But the family comes first. So. Let me finish. I also know there's just one thing that could break it up at this point. If Pan Am and me. If we went our separate ways, the Aldecaldos would not survive if that split were to occur again. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Uh, help me because you don't got no choice. Wonder if Pan Am feels the same if way. Pan Am feels the same. You all think Pan Am and I are facing off. There's a wall between us. Isn't there? Quite the contrary, V. Pan Am cares about this clan as much as I do. Granted, we don't see all things the same way, but oddly enough, the family stands to benefit from that. I've seen it, and soon you will too. How about us, Saul? You good? It's an important day tomorrow. Get some rest. I'll take that as a sorta. Where's Mitch? You, uh... I might have. Me. You have to look around. I once found a dead so magpie I'll under take the hood of my car. He did in a cold Dakota night. The magpie, today. looking for warmth, had found the engine. He couldn't get out next morning. He got cooked alive. I still remember this. Charred feathers, misery, death. The moment I met you, that vision appeared before my eyes. Today, I understand why. Uh, okay. Sorry I even brought it up. But your future is not etched in stone, V. Remember that. Okay. What's this? Yard sale of some sort? Essentially, take what you want. And the occasion would be... The end times. Worthy gesture. Dramatic, even. Actually, pragmatic. I'm giving away my stock to you so you survive tomorrow's mad hell and come back to me. Okay. Well, that makes a lot of sense. Ooh, that's a big gun. Don't need the knife. You can keep Fuck the knife. You. Why am I naked? Why am I? Wait, I'm not. Hold on a second. Yeah, that's weird. That's very weird.
Oh, that's actually a nice combination, but uh, I'm gonna put what I had on before. Um, this is legendary, actually. And the glasses, for some reason, aren't on. What's the armor on this? 159 versus what we had before. Where is it? There it is. 130. Yeah, might as well go out in the same gear. If we're gonna die. But it's not showing up. What's going on? Why is it not showing up? Where is it? Where'd it go? There we go. Okay, all well, that's the same. Everything, oh, boots, boots. Ah, this is a weird glitch. Am I, yes, I'm fully, cl oh my God. Hey, whoa, what? Okay, we're cool, we're cool. Butcher's Cleaver. Ah, uh, who else is there? Let's let's go talk to Mitch. I had it just a second ago. I swear. Hey, I'll go. Thanks. Good, really good. In fact, how about you? I'm trying to get the Panzer running. She's stubborn, our dame, but I won't give either. So, time for a ride? Yeah, I'm game. Hop in. Sweet. Gonna be my co-pilot? All right, fire her up. I've got green across the board. Good sign. Where are we headed? Bobby said there's a scrapyard east of camp. <laughs> now let's check Bobby's little find. Punch it, V. Oh my god. Does it seem like he's tending to the left? It's going, you think? Just keep shooting at those rust buckets. I'll recalibrate the targeting on the go. Better, doesn't it? Seems so. Last another, just to be sure. Farther down. There we go. It's got some targeting issues, but we're good. Yep, beautiful. Um, where's there another car to destroy? Check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. Sounds good. Although I never want to hear you talk about tight and firm guts ever again, please. Uh, can I, do I do I get out this way? I get out because I can't like go back in. I can't pull into the tent. Right here. How do I? This is 
weird. This is so strange. I can't get out of this. It's too big to fit in the tent. Return the camera. Is there a way to get out? <laughs> What? It's, it's not gonna fit in. Can I like, turn it? Wait, oh now it's frozen, what the hell? No, no. Okay, time, time to load. Check before tomorrow if her guts are tight and firm. Something just don't sound right to my ear. What did I say before? Are we heading back? Yeah, right here. I can't. I'll take her now. Oh, oh. Wow. I get picky about parking. Okay, it just didn't do it the first time. Talk to Mitch again. No, yes. You nervous about tomorrow? It's not a matter of nerves. Not anymore. Don't you want one? <sighs> Why the hell not? Back during the war, before we were first deployed, we were trained to keep stress in check. Do you want to know how? How? They gave us chem cocktails. Supplements, boosters, God knows what else. They shot them into our veins. Our bio mons went wild, but only for a second before stabilizing, and boy, did we stabilize. After a dozen sessions, something clicks in your brain. Neural pathways get rewired. The part of you that generates fear is zapped into oblivion. Thought they banned chem cocktails during the war, even. Please. Weren't there outbreaks of cyberpsychosis within units? And? Do you think Militech gave a lick about that? They just airlifted the afflicted to their clinics in Taiwan. <laughs> Daily flights. Hmm. And every day we'd get fresh recruits. Still they pumped us with that shit. But hey, we couldn't argue with the money. That's seriously fucked up. What'd you think? That war wasn't effed up? One we'll head into tomorrow too. Why? You having second thoughts? I'm not worried about it. And neither should you be. Something else will be keeping me awake. What's that? Nah, no matter. Come on. Come on. All in the family now, isn't it? The truth is I'm concerned about the goings-on between Pan Am and Saul. They seem to think that putting on a brave face for everyone is enough, but folks here aren't slow. There's gossip spreading like wildfire already. That Saul won't pull through, that he's in it for himself, that this family needs a shake-up. What about you? What about me? What's your take? <clears throat> Saul ought to step down, pass the torch to Pan Am. We'll see how things look tomorrow once the smoke is cleared. Your turn. What do you reckon? Thought Saul uh, would cave. Was hoping Pan Am would mature. Need to settle the difference. I actually thought he'd kind Julie, of give in. Thought Saul would throw in the towel after all that went down. I'm no pundit on campfire politics, but to my eye, Saul doesn't have a whole lot of wiggle room. Could just pass the torch to Pan Am. He could, but Saul's no brick brain. 
He knows Pan Am doesn't want to fill his boots. Think I get it. Pan Am's about the clan, not power. The question is whether she can reconcile the two. Hey, don't look at me. Something we gotta find out, I guess. It's like this, see? Pan Am's hell-bent on helping you. But Saul sees this whole thing as an opportunity. Possible loot from Makoshi? Mm-hmm. If we pull this off, get our hands on some sweet Arasaka tech that'll set us up down south. Do you follow? It'll ease folks' fears. By Saul some time. Saul's a smooth operator. He knows what he's doing. Let's just hope he hasn't overplayed his hand. All right, we've gossiped enough for one day. I'll see Always you. Just spoken stays between us, okay? Of course. I'm gonna poke around some in this baby's insides. Right. Happy hunting, Mitch. Okay. Wait. Why didn't that complete? There we go. Alright, who else is there to talk to, really? Uh, I guess follow the ye yellow arrow. Nope. Oh, look in the mirror. What do you... Okay, I'm not even going to question it. Salam Aleikum. Whatever that means. Uh, hey, how's it going? Where's Carol? Yeah? What's up in the big world? Alright, I suppose we can go talk to Pan Am. Where is she at? All the way up there? How would one... Wait a minute, what's this? Is that where the uh, t Yeah, No, that's not what the tank is. See who's over here. Nobody I recognize. All right, let's go talk to her. <laughs> Don't Darn. just stand there. Have a so seat. So nice here. Mm-hmm. Any for your thoughts? I have none. I mean, I don't even know. I'm so tense I barely caught a wink last night. It's likely to be the same tonight. What's eating you? Well, let's see. Tomorrow I'll leave my whole clan to near certain death. As if that's not enough, Saul is suddenly concurring with everything I say. And I don't even know if that's good or bad. Fuck. People are doubting us. I can feel it. But they still believe if it all goes to shit, Pan Am will be there for them. Because who else, right? Exactly. Who, if not you? That's what I mean! It shouldn't be me! It should be... Saul? If only he hadn't gone and made all the wrong decisions to be a little more like me. I'm scared to the bone something will go wrong. That everyone will... Sorry to have dragged you into this. Sorry. V, stop. Accept me into your family. How do I repay you? By taking you on an excursion through hell. It isn't fair of me, Pan Am. I wasn't fair from the start. You know what's not fair? That you want me to massage your bruised conscience. Well, I won't do it. We're all in this together. <sighs> You're right. Yeah? Are you not afraid to die? I 
I am. All the fucking time. You're great at hiding it. Any for your thoughts? I'm thinking about the first night I spent up here. I've been on the road. I was on my way back and wanted to clear my head before hitting camp. Now uh, before another likely shouting match with Saul. It was completely dark. Empty. Not a star in the sky. All I heard was the wind and a few engines in the distance. And I sat here waiting for the world to fall away. For my mind's RPM to drop to zero. Did it? No. I realized that night it wouldn't happen again. That my mind would always be on the road. Even while I was sitting, freezing on a cliff. Time to head back, maybe? No. Let's sit here a while longer. This is doing me good. More than I thought. All right, let's go before our asses freeze over. Saul's back. Let's go. Maybe he turned up something new. Okay. Where are we? Down that way? Jesus, those jeans are doing work. I know it's crass, but damn, I'm sorry. <laughs> Best not keep them waiting. Oh boy. And everything else? It's funny, you can never be too prepared for something like everyone's ready. As ready as they can be. It's not your usual raid. First for many. Mitch probably roused them. Feel that? The tension. It means they've realized what they're stepping into. I just got back from doing some reconnaissance. You'll want to see this. Get any sleep at all? The older you get, the less you need. Besides, I wouldn't have slept a wink before a raid like this. And good intel is just better than a good night's sleep. Take a gander. Thanks. The plan is simple. We have two objectives. One, get into Arasaka Tower and assist V in accessing Mikoshi. And two, take advantage of the confusion to gather as much equipment as we can. Prizes like that will see to our cash flow problem. The only way into Mikoshi is to dig through to Arasaka Tower's underground levels, which means we have to hit the Maglev Tunnel construction site and hijack the Night Corp Cirque. Last but not least, intel from our recon drone has showed us a couple of weak points. This valley leads to the site. I doubt they'll be expecting trouble there. All the same, we'll want to move quickly. Time is of the essence. We can't allow the guards to call for backup. And if we're too slow? That'll be a job for Bob and his jammer. We'll just have to get close to their comms antenna and start transmitting. Let's not kid ourselves. It won't stall them for long. Let's hope it keeps them busy just long enough. Are there drones there? Early detection systems? Anything? It's not Fort Knox, yet Night Corp is using Militech for security, so you never know. I guarantee you they're patrolling the area. In any case, our drones will match theirs. Teddy will be on the lookout to raise the red flag. Supposed to be actually scanning stuff. Are Panzer's gun big enough for that gate? You bet your ass it is. Sounds good so far. What else? Once you're inside, you'll need to reach the Cirque and get it to do your bidding. Enter Mitch and Carol. 
Get that drill up and running, and the road to the cellars of Arasaka Tower will be wide open. From there, V, Pan Am, and I will get to the laboratory and find a way into Mikoshi. And while we're drilling in, should we expect anyone to crash our party? If everything goes as planned, nobody should know where we are or what we plan to do. Feel free to look around more if you want. We still have some time left. Let's see, there's a gate there. Can't scan it. Could use the crane to our advantage somehow. I think I've seen enough. Well, that about does it. V, you ready? How will we get back from there? The same way we'll go in. And fast, both ways. Our people will try to hold the road while we're inside. So V, you ready? Ready as I'll ever be. Is everyone up to speed? Start your engines, folks. Right. Time to churn up some dust. Call the Cardo Convoy. Now that's the sight to go. Mm-hmm. And only this desert expanse can rival the star-studded void that hangs over our heads. Please, come take my six. Is everybody reading loud and clear? Got us on a group channel. Nope, I hear you. Daddy. And a sandstorm. You are trespassing on property protected by Militech Site Secure. Turn back now. I repeat, turn your vehicles around. Shit. It's all good. We're all good. It's out of range. Nobody's taking a hit yet. Your turn, Bobby. Do you remember the jammer? Sure do. We're on. Pan Am, got to make you check if all systems are operational. Check. Nitro injector clear. Launcher's also green. We're good to go. Then let the fun begin. Can we fix it? Right what the, the hell? Out. Shit! Something's busted. All the circuitry is dead. I'll try to work it out. But V, you need to somehow get rid of those drones. On the drones, you deal with the Panzer. And the oh, AMP? No, no. Fire in the car! Got the power! You got it. Can you put it out? Get the fuck That's out of here! Christ, people, where are you? Oh, shit. Shit, 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 shit. Two more drones. Three, four. Oh my god. There are so many. On. There we go. So, they know we're coming. Drones deployed headed straight forward. We need more time, Bobby. Can you hold them off? Well, I have a choice. Look after yourself. Oh, Bobby's got this. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. One more. Sweet. Hey, Bobby, the Panzer's moving again. Hang tight, we're coming for you. Son, I was starting to miss you all. I got just one son of a bitch left, and he's about to get a- Bobby! Jesus Christ, Bobby! Bobby, do you read? We have to go I'm and- sorry, Mitch. We can't afford to stop. Not now. Shit. Shit. The Panzer V. It won't hold up much longer. Systems could go down any second. I'd do all anything right. to make it in one piece. Anything. After that, I can improvise. We can do this, Pan Am. Hang in there. Fight the corpus tonight. No more mistakes. Not a one. We're damned. So much shit has hit us already. We can do this. Uh, 
Right, push forward. Think you fool it with that? We're in. Hey, she's dying like I said she would. Propulsion, weapon systems, launchers, all falling like dominoes. Is there anything you could do about it? I'll try. Either I do this, or this rattle trap will really be scrapped. You get out. Help our folks. Gotcha. We'll provide cover. Just hurry, all right? Hold on, let's switch, uh, what did that replace? Of course it replaced my shotgun. Okay. There we go. Anybody hiding in here? go down and nope he did okay right is rain okay it's our turn now hey watch them all right copy that all right guys there's likely a control room upstairs we can link remotely to the circ from there I'll cover you. I got a terminal. We're jacking in. What about security protocols? V, it's not a space station. It's a dumb big ass drill. Don't worry. Carol will slice through it like butter. Good. All right, we're firing up to Cirque. Aiming to bore through to Arasaka Tower. This will take some time. V, we'll need you to cover us. Gotcha. Got company. A lot of it, too. V, help us out here. Fucking Militech is not letting up. I'm away. Damn. It's looking like the drill vector's on auto. How can we possibly turn it? We're gonna sweet talk this bitch into it. Mitch, kill that autopilot and hit manual override. Got it. It's working! Prepare for takeoff! Watch out! Coming from the right! How are we doing, Mitch? 11%! Why can't I use grenades? Can't you speed it up? Our hands are tied. Chief! Chief! Need a little bit of covering fire. Where's everybody else? Hell or be here. Unit down. There we go.
Okay. Damn it, left side too. Carol, Mitch, how much longer? Oh, oh God. There we go. AP! Goddamn AP inbound! What? Oh shit. They're going to land. Ready, get the hell out of there! Oh shit. There we go. That was not good. There's there's a lot more coming. I need ammo. Like That's a mistake. Oh boy. Things are about to get real ugly. About to? Okay, um, let's uh, switch to that giant LMG since we don't have too much ammo for this. How much would this, does this use rifle ammo? Nope. It uses a uh, different ammo. We don't have much of it. See anybody over there? Oh, big guy. Big one. Big man. Big mech. Oh, no, 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 no. Burnout synapse. Burn out synapse. All right, it's done. It's done for. I am hit. I am hit. Come on. There we go. Where, you, where is it at? Right. 
in. We're moving on. We'll try to buy you as much time as we can. Much obliged. Watch over Mitch and Carol and see to that gate. Intercept the military strike team. Good. The military. We have to admit that. Oh, shit. Justice. Got their own. Come on, get lower, please. Get hey, lower. Militech's throwing more armor at us. Fight a ton. Oh boy. Farther to Arasaka Tower. Not far. It should be easy to let him from here. Sounds good. Decently. You should be used to this by now, Saul. Things rarely go as planned. We have no idea what's waiting for us inside. Fellas, what's the issue? Carol and the rest. Militech's all rattled up. Cut them off. They won't last long on that site. Jesus Christ. I'm taking the Panzer. They need all the help they can get. Are you out of your mind? The answer is no. You can't operate the Panzer alone without frying that gonk brain of yours. Do you have a better idea? They're family, Pan. I'm not leaving them behind. Saul, are you on board with this? V, someone make him see reason. The three of us have still got a decent shot, but without him, they've got none. You're sure about this? Saul! We're talking goddamn suicide! 
Look out for yourselves. They'll kill you! I'll catch you later. Come back, man. Carol, I'm heading your way. Hang in there! Saul! You'll owe me a beer after this! They're gonna... We can't, but all this should be for nothing. You two go on up and see what's gotten into them. Once you're mobile, I'll follow. Secure the rear. V, let's go. Sorry, Pan. Mitch? I'm here. Safe and sound. Be careful. Please. I can handle myself, Pan. Likewise for you. Get to Makoshi in one piece. All right, here we go. Mitch out. Please, no more cock-ups. Please. I got you. We in here? Jack in and start her up. It looks like the engine overheated and choked when Drillbit met reinforcement. Oh, moment of truth. Here goes. Everything all right? Pan Am? Talk to me! No, no, no. Pan Am! I'm here. I'm a bit bruised as all. Well. I've been doing worse. Pan Am. For a sec, I thought you'd... It's okay, V. Everything's okay. It's all. The tunnel's clear for now. Any word from Mitch? Still nothing. I knew it. Could be a problem with the comms. Mm -hmm. Come on. Let's finish this. Oh, Jesus Christ! Okay. Well, if that wasn't a hello, I don't know what the hell is. Right, where, where are we supposed to go? look around for a maintenance shaft? Uh, that might be it. We have some kind of maintenance shaft. It looks like it leads upwards. Take it slow. No unwanted attention. Coughing included. I, I can't. Okay. Here we go. If you stop to think, it's incredible we happen to be standing right where the AHQ bomb left a huge crater. Yeah? Then, isn't this place positively saturated with radiation? Who knows? Great. Climb up. Where's the other ladder? Right here? Through here? No! V, v. Just have another seizure. V, v, are you okay? Hey! Hey! hey. Short. I can feel it. <clears throat> we gotta hurry. Can you know where we are? If we look around, we'll find out. I see something there. The guards need our attention first. V, take care of the sentries. Silently, if you can. Don't like this. Not one bit. You thinking it's serious? Sure sounds it. We'll be here till sundown at noon. Never. I don't like it one bit. Well, that's that. 
Okay. Come out alone and you won't get hurt. Where are we headed? Way to regroup. Quick and quiet. Q and Q. They have a whole squad there. Convoy security. Come out, come out. Okay. Things are a little trickier than we expected. Their systems must have detected vibrations under the building when we drove through. All units are on alert, which means instant cutoff of all passages, like rats in a cage. Makoshi, a ways to go still? No, the lab is in the next sector over, but we need to get there first. Okay, so where are we? Where exactly are we? Plant and services level, and it's where we'll stay if we don't disable security. Are there any access points? Gotta get to one stat. I'm looking. Give me a sec. I found one. It's not far. You can jack in your personnel there. All right. Better hope there's a port for Alt Shard, too. I'm sending you the shortest route. We need to lift this goddamn lockdown first. Just keep your heads down. Nobody needs to know about our little visit in here. Ahead of us. See him. Conrad initiated. All employees are to remain where they are until the lockdown has been lifted. I wouldn't touch that door. Unless you want a horde of Arasaka elites coming down on our heads. Yeah, I can't, uh, can't open it anyway. Jeez, are you trying to make new tunes? Just yet. Hello? Where are you? Careful, Lee. Is he the only one? Of course he's not. Oh shit. Upstairs. All right, what can this do for us? Not too much. Turn that one off. Right, let's see. Can this access any security stuff? No.
you there. I just want to do as much damage to them as possible. Oh, he's dead. Where's the last one? Somebody's coming up through upstairs. Must be here somewhere. Where's the camera? Come oh, out. I don't see a camera. Okay, I'm here. Oh my god! Where did you even come from? Right, well, they know we're here. Halt. The shard's in. Yes. How much time do you need to? It is done. Oh. Hell yes! It worked! So we can keep going. So, Makoshi. Your path lies open. Thank you. Are you certain? Good. I'm ready. Likewise. Let's move. Right. Not hackable. Oh, my God. This is what we're gonna have to do. Lord, I can't. Yo. It's a mech suit. Can I use it? Can I? No? Okay. Oh my god. Oh, they're all friendly. Saul? I feel it too. Something's the best. It's the hush. We're being Doesn't attacked! Anyone else have the chills? Something happened here. Here. You fucking gun! Alright, well, they're all helping us. She turned the car into a death trap. Through we go. Oh, Jesus. He is. Can't go through there, can we? Oh yeah, we can. I made it. A few steps is all that separates you from the Koshi. It seems you'll finally get your chance. We're with you, V, to the very end. The Aldecalos always keep their word. Thanks, guys. We have the room past the partition, then we'll be at the core. You can do this. Oh my god! Oh, 
Lord. Oh my god. Jesus! There we go. switch back did I pick up uh, this was what I was using right I think so I think so and this is yeah Be a sniper. careful oh my god Ammo for that too. Silverhand once. Gonna let you in on a little secret. Johnny, he's here with us. Now he can't talk. I can feel him under my skin. What the fuck are you talking about? In the end, gotcha. Silverhand triumphs. Oh. 
Jesus Christ. And I can just loot him? Oh my god. <coughs> Moment of truth. Look too strong. I'll make it. The access point lies before you. Link to it. Insert yourself. Then search for me on the other side. Come on. Lean on me. I know for sure is all it's bound to stage a coup in my head. Can't know who'll be coming back from this cyber John, so I gotta thank you now, V. Shut up and do whatever you have to do. Any parting advice? Just be yourself. <laughs> okay. Let us go then, you and I. Hold on one sec, can I? I can't, when I can't get rid of that. spread out against the sky, like a patient etherized upon a table. Let us go through certain half-deserted streets. The muttering retreats of restless nights in one-night cheap hotels and sawdust restaurants and oyster shops. Streets that follow like a tedious argument of insidious intent to lead you to an overwhelming question. Oh, do not ask what is it. Let us go and make our visit. Jesus.
It worked. I'm gonna fucking live. Gotta admit, you cobbled together a good plan. Been my curse and my nightmare, Johnny. But I do owe you one thing. Day to day, with Silverhand by my side, I learned to kick down barriers. Now nothing can hold me back. I can feel it. Is that so? Meaning you've made a decision about us? Do I... Johnny, not gonna lie, but you'd best prepare your ass for the fucking kick of the century. I have no idea where you'll land after it, but sure hope it'll be far away from me. Alt? Alt! You hear? Haven't caught on yet, have you? <laughs> what do you mean? Alt's already split us. Once you jacked into Makoshi, she lit you up with Soul Killer. You're out, but don't fuck around. I am not his girlfriend. Hey, Alt. So, seeing as we seem to have the soul splitting out of the way, what's next? I am currently verifying the checksum and eliminating engram copy errors in the process. Wait, you mean... I... Am I a construct? She means you followed in my footsteps. Next steps to copy you into the Gonk's brain. Wait, hold on. I want to know what the hell happened to me. Exactly. I applied Soul Killer to separating your two psyches, thereby creating V's distinct construct. An added analgesic protocol precluded any perception of pain. I was unable to eliminate all the changes made through the Johnny data incursion and override. But V's engram integrity remains high. Meaning you can transfer her psyche back into her brain? As if onto a blank, virgin partition. So that's really it. We're done. You kept your word. There is one aspect I failed to take into account. Alt? What? The body is a key factor in this transaction. DNA reconfiguration by the relic has progressed too far. Added to aggressive, invasive medications, the body's immune system attacking its own neurons... Chris, will you just skip to the end? After I transfer your construct into your body, you will die. It is inevitable. It is imminent. Are you absolutely sure? Check again. You shall live for about six months. Perhaps somewhat more. No, no, no. There's gotta be something. Something we haven't thought of. Your body will see you as an intruder. But it's my body. The biochip's nanites have altered it permanently. The body is now Johnny. Alt, give us a minute. V and I need to talk. Everything, all, all, all we did, it was pointless. I have had enough of this, of everything. You, most of all. Perfect, because we're sticking to the plan. I'm going with all fuck knows where. You're keeping your body. Where's she even going to take you? Beyond the Black Wall, to become part of her. Whatever the hell that means. What's it like, beyond the Black Wall? Assuming I don't lose my fucking mind, at least no one can ride my ass there. What about hanging around as a construct? Just until we find another way. Finding another way would be making a deal with Sokka. I'll pass. Jesus. To be a shapeless shadow in a digital afterlife? Really think I'd rather die. It is freedom from the body's limitations, from the base worries of life in the world. It is a new perspective on all. No. Be left with fading memories. Cheering a bed. Head splitting hangovers. Sea breeze on my face. Sun's heat on my shoulders. 
So take back your life. The six months you've got left. Didn't think life was worth clinging to. Not at any price. Cause it ain't. Wrong. That light beyond the black wall. See? That's all. Could be the flames of hell. Heaven's grace. Might also be an Ingram reading code. But it's a promise of survival. We've learned how to turn into pure data. But an animal still prowls inside us. And its instinct to survive almost can't be extinguished. Yeah. That instinct's part of being human. But so is denying it. Is there really no other way? As I said, Johnny can retain the body, remain there, while you come with me. Guess I meant... I don't know. Uh, a happier ending for everyone involved. Here? For folks like us? Wrong city. Wrong people. He had the right to make a choice you have earned, through will and endeavor. This bridge leads deeper into cyberspace. Cross it and permanently sever the connection with your body. The path to your body passes through that mortal well. Sorry. in smoke with damage valued in excess of the annual budget of many a small country serves you right sucka how's it feel to be on your knees huh <laughs> <laughs> worry not on wash mats as our wondrous lives in night city won't change much but when do they ever we live midst dust and chrome and midst dust and chrome we shall all die now for some good news and some bad news Why'd you want to meet here? For the view? Or are you turning sentimental on me? So you do remember. I thought of it then as a one-time thing. I would help you, you would help... <sighs> Fuck. No, no, that's a lie. Mm-hmm. Had it in for the Raffins. You were out to get them with Mitch's and Scorpion's help. If they'd agreed, you'd have told me to fuck off then and there. Ah, oh, stop. <laughs> Look at the city. Somewhere in there, those bastards from Arasaka are wondering how they lost everything. They'll figure it out one day. But we'll be long gone. They'll never find us. Can promise you that. I know. Perhaps that's why I need a good long look. One day this view will be a happy memory. About to turn on your heel, never see the city again. I think that makes you happy right now. And you? Ready? Do you feel the road beckoning? It's possibly your last glance at those buildings. The quicker I forget the whole damn thing, the better. The city makes false promises. 
Many of them grand, doesn't it? <laughs> See through them before you lose everything, then. You're pretty damn lucky. Perhaps luck's with us now. Perhaps we're leaving just in time. Think it is. Think we are. Time to make up for things. Shit, V. You're bleeding again. I'm gonna figure this out, Pan Am. Fix drug helps a bit now. And once we get to where we're going, we'll try all your contacts. They've pulled some of our folks out of deep, deep cesspits. They'll help. You'll see. Good to hear. It really is. Speaking of which, what about our plan? Everything is set and confirmed. We'll meet our people soon, gather our gear, and set off. Yes, the road could be hard, but as long as we don't fuck up, we should cross the border in a matter of hours. Let's get out of here. Sure. But V... Get a good look at the city. One last time. If you need to, I mean. I'll wait in the car. Wow. Well, night, city. Good night and good luck. Wish I could get rid of that, uh, gun card. Most of our people have already crossed. They'll wait for us on the other side. And our souvenirs from Makoshi? If we so much as approached the gates with tech like that, they would wipe us out without warning. We've checked. Arasaka has people at every border crossing. But we know a road less traveled. Sounds good. Uh, just hope this is better than it did for me and Jackie. Arasaka. Deja vu. Did I say something wrong? Just reminded me of Jackie and the Arasaka job. I think you know how that ended. I'm sorry, V. Come on. You had nothing to do with that. And anyways, things will be different now. Gotta be. Hold on one second. Okay, so it's still going. There is one thing I will miss about Night City. What's that? The food. The tie on 7th and Hayward. The pierogies down by the docks. <clears throat> Seriously? <laughs> You'll understand once you've ridden with us for a while. Wonder if I'll miss Night City too. You will miss the Night City you imagined was there. A city of endless potential, endless possibilities. The city that was a lie. We'll handle it together. Even the memories of MC. Off we go. Grannies for cookies and milk. Not <laughs> in or that storm will catch you. Screw you. Mitch, hey. Hey, V. Good to hear you, Chum. How's things? Give me a month and I'll be as good as new. I told you all I'd be fine, didn't I? Come on, Mitch. You weren't nearly that confident after Makoshi. None of us were. He was in bed for weeks, a vegetable, 
It would have been the end of him if not for his synapses, toughened, made almost fry-proof in panzers back in the war. Did save every one of our asses, though. Pity Saul's not with us. Or Teddy. Or Bobby. Or Scorpion. They would have kicked your ass out of whack after that move with the panzer. Then hugged you until you puked. I know, Pan Am, I know. Gave us all a chance at a new start. Let's not fuck it up. I'm glad you're with us, V. See you soon. I can smell the ozone. Even through the air conditioning. It's that storm. Getting close. Gotta find shelter quick. Wait a minute, did we call Judy? Did we tell her? Okay, we've arrived. It's high time. Hey, Mitch. Hey, let's get the fuck out of here, shall we? Hey, how are things? Is everything arranged? Everything's almost set. So you found it? Where we thought it would be? All plans laid and in place? They are indeed. But someone is supposedly waiting for you. Come see us later. We'll talk about the who, what, and how. Rain Dance Club in Chicago, ages ago. But I didn't edit them. V, no. you're here. <laughs> Jude, you made it. <laughs> I doubted you would come. Yeah, Carol gave me a ride. Never would have found this place otherwise. Damn, I'm glad you're here. So fucking glad you didn't change your mind. <laughs> I think I made up my mind before you did. <laughs> It's just, uh... Hmm, you clearly got things you need to hash out. Leave the girls to it. Everything all right? Just here. Now. I think I realized I never felt right in Night City. I used to think there'd come a day when I'd finally call it home. I thought, any moment now I'll feel safe. Even comfy. But it was pure illusion. I know. Mm-hmm. Seems so far away, so innocent from here. It's a strange feeling I'm having, as if I was a fugitive almost. It's betrayal, you sense. It feels like you're betraying it, and somehow the city knows, and it stands in judgment. Yeah. It's like, I want to leave. But it's pulling me back in, like it's got another sweet, sweet promise just for me. Empty, Judy. All of them. But we hold the cards now. You know, I used to mark time in stages, one juncture to the next. There was the mega building, hole in the wall phase, and then the group home phase. The Mox phase. Every time, I thought I found a home. And every damn time, I came away disappointed. Things will be different now. You'll see. Promise? No, don't want to promise you a thing. Don't have to. You'll see. We'll have a home. We'll be home soon. It's a vision I like. A lot. Me too. We're gonna be all right. If I can be sure of anything now, it's that. Feel better already? Heading out soon. Gotta get ahead of that storm. And stay on Pan Am's good side. Yeah. Carol said a thing or two. Warned me. Don't worry. You'll like her. So, we going? Got one last thing to take care of. 
It'll only take a sec. Okay. I'll be waiting right here. Awesome. I just talked about that. Need any help preparing? No. It's all packed and ready to go. We were waiting for you. That's all. All right. So the plan. One more time. We won't take any official crossing. I think you know that, right? So there's this old smuggling tunnel. Forgotten. We'll aim to use that. It's near the wall. All right. Never mentioned the tunnel. A gate in the wall. I like it. So you found a gate in the wall. Clever. Not in as much as under. It's one of those old smuggling tunnels. Thankfully, it's still open. It wasn't the easiest thing to locate after all these years. But now, nothing can stop us now. Look, tunnel's cool and all, but we gotta get there first. And what about security up and down the border? Whole area's brimming with tech. Drones on perpetual patrol, heavier stuff too, maybe. Don't worry. We know what's there and what to do about it. And Carol and Cassidy will keep the corpos off our tail. And nobody's likely to spot us. Sooner or later, the border guards will realize something's not right. But by the time they get around to it, we'll be far, far away. Plus, that storm's a true stroke of luck. It should cover our tracks. We'll need more than a storm to keep the corpos off our tail. Got bigger concerns than us. And even if they don't, just let them try and catch us. They'll regret it. Sounds good. Great. And once we've crossed, what then? We'll make for our meeting point, join the rest of our people there, then we'll move on towards Tucson. And once there, we call the shots, right? We know the road's like the back of our hand. And down in Arizona, we have some old favors to call in. <laughs> so even if I wanted to, I got nothing to worry about. Starting today, it's not all on your back. You're no longer alone, V. You'll get used to it. It's nice. Looks like I've got a debt of gratitude to pay now. Oh, come the fuck on. We're all riding in the same wagon. And thanks to you, we stole enough Arasaka tech to build an aircraft carrier. Believe Damn. me, on the list of those wanted dead or alive, our names are right under yours. Well, time to move. Before that storm finds us. Why? Thought I'd stay in Night City? You don't seem like one who'd care to make a fresh start. Ever. Get to know me better? Could change your mind. We're ready. After you, Pan Am. Are we all set? Mm-hmm. So jack in. Let's get the hell out of here. You got it. This is your big new beginning. So you have to start it like a real nomad, behind the proverbial wheel. Mostly okay. go straight, go around the bigger holes and you don't lose the rest. Got it? I will deal with the nitro. The mix will go straight to the cylinders. If I don't sink it just right manually, it could blow us to bits. I think that's best avoided. Glad yeah, Judy didn't kill you. Meaning, leaving? Mm-hmm. Said goodbye to the girls at Lizzie's today. Almost all were sure I'd flake back out. It started a pool, you know? About me limping back home, tail between my legs. Like many of them. More times than they'd care to admit. Got a feeling majority's gonna be out some eddies. I ever tell you I planned this with Evelyn? A flight out of Night City to bliss. We dreamed about what we'd do when we finally got the chance. I'm sorry, Judy. Don't let it bother you. I won't. Mentioned it because feels like I should let that dream go too. Oh, it's finally coming true at least. Under the grime of a sandstorm. You ready? Been ready always. Then hit it. Home stretch. Full speed ahead. Drones. I don't see anything. Carol, Cassidy, get moving. I'm heading west and activating the jammers. They've marked me. I'm turning east to get them off your tail. Go on, kids. See you on the other side. All right. Oh, 
Can't see a thing through this. Ready. Say goodbye to Night City. It's your last chance. Got nothing left to say. Start her up. The deal is yours. Let's ride. A new beginning. Don't slow down, Pan Am. Not yet. It's a tight fit. Great, Pan Am. We're going home. life out there in the desert. Getting some sun, some fresh air in those lungs. Don't forget to get yourself a checkup every once in a while. Any dust or dirt gets into that insulation, you're done. Of course, decent ripper is harder to find out there than a four-star hotel. So actually, how about you just stop by when you're back in the city, huh? Think I could swing a little discount for an old regular like you. Till next time, V. Okay. Holy shit. V. Is it true what they say? You rolling around in the dirt with the Aldecaldos? Have you lost your mind, mija? Didn't you get in enough trouble already, eh? My 
Night City was too boring for you. Estás loca, eh? Crazy, completely crazy. You Just watch out for yourself, okay? Don't do anything stupid, because I'm not going to a second funeral. Anyway, if you want to see some old faces, don't forget to stop by Mama Wells, okay? Just give me a call before, and I'll make my special chilaquiles just for you. <laughs> Cuídate, Vi. Oh, you can fast forward through the credits. Hey, V. I know what you're thinking. Why is my crazy output leaving a message on the machine while I'm making breakfast? Well, <clears throat> you know me. I get mushy when it comes to sharing feelings. So, uh, <clears throat> what the hell? I figured I'd just tell you here. <laughs> v, I just wanted you to know that I'm happy. For the first time in my life. And I wanted to... Speak of the devil. Oh. V, hey, Christ, that run we did, my heart's still pounding. A pack of nomads versus Arasaka. Oh, I mean. The odds were totally stacked against us. I didn't know if we'd get out alive. But hey, we made it. And you know why? Because you were the one leading the charge, V. The craziest, baddest merc from Pacifica to the Appalachians. I don't know what you're up to right now, what your plans are. But just remember, we'd walk through hell and back with you anytime, sister. Until next time, eh? Take care. So my wife, Elizabeth, she's in on the whole thing. 
She... she keeps saying I should look after myself. Tells me to take these... pills. Says they're vitamins. Got them analyzed at a lab. And they look okay. But, but how am I supposed to know if somebody didn't falsify the results? Well, 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 when you got a sec, call me, okay? Oh, oh yeah, and don't forget to delete this message. Fitting. Ain't, ain't that fitting, right? That <laughs> it just crashes on us one last time. Oh my god. That was awesome though. I don't know what game we're gonna do next, but we'll we'll have to see. I thank you so very much for watching, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of the Empire. I, it was a wild ass ride. I I loved it. I loved it, and with the ending, it's basic it, it bumped up my score from like an eight out of ten to a to a ten now. <laughs> Oh my god. Um, other than that, if you are watching on YouTube and you enjoyed, like, comment, subscribe, all that. Don't forget to check out some of my other stuff on Twitch. Drop me a follow if you haven't already, and I will see you all tomorrow.